man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. time for the A list. Keep in mind, the list is fluid. The list is trash. Uh, well, because a lack of compassion. Lack of uh, compassion. Uh, 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 it's a little long. It's a little lengthy. Yeah, this is a B minus at best oh. right here. B minus, oh, Stephen A. I think you're starting to politic a little bit, Stephen A. Oh, oh, stop. Yeah. No, don't let him feel good. Don't let I him feel good. Thank, um, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Not the arms clapping. Not the arms clapping. It's Stephen A. All right, it's time, it's time for Stephen A. Let's go. Stand at the board. You stand at the board right yep, now. We're here Molly, for you. You, you look great. Stand to the Thank side you. right there. Bet just Saturday, move over because I want America to see. I was going to ban a white for you. My top five teams, my top five teams coming into the NFL this season. Keep in mind, the list is fluid. The list is fluid. All right, let's go to number five on the list, please. Give it to me. Bam! Right there. The Philadelphia Eagles. I'm sorry. You got a new offensive coordinator in Kellen Moore. You got Jalen Hurts motivated to make amends, all right? And you picked up Saquon Barkley, and you still got one of the top five offensive, uh, top two, top three offensive lines in the National Football League. I figure Sergeant Friday, a.k.a. Jeff Saturday, would appreciate that. Me bringing the big man balling into the equation. Offensive line to me and Potato Brothers protecting Jalen Hurts, protecting Saquon Barkley. They're a top five team in the league as far as I'm concerned. Let's go to number four on the list, please, right now. Bam! Right there, the Detroit Lions. Last time I checked, they were in the NFC Championship game. Last mm. time I checked, they were in a position to go to the Super Bowl and just run the football a little bit more effectively. Dan Campbell, you might have made something happen. Your defense has improved. Armand Ross St. Brown is still there. Jared Goff is still there. They got a running game with Gibbs and the whole crew. They're highly motivated. They tasted some success. Remember last year, the first time they won a couple of playoff games, all right, since 1957, for crying out loud. The Lions are coming. We cannot ignore that, okay? They ain't top three on the list, though, please. Give it to me right Right now, bam, the Baltimore Ravens. Mm. There's nothing to think about here. They got the two-time league MVP. They picked up Derrick Henry. Excuse me, they were one of the top defenses in the league last year to begin with. Top rushing attack team in the, in the, in the, in the league last year. And on top of it all, they win an AFC championship game. And Lamar Jackson inching closer and closer and closer. Plus, they're exceptionally well coached. John Harbaugh is right there. This is what they have. They ain't top two on the list, please, right now. Give it to me right now. Here we go. Bam! The San Francisco 49ers. This is nothing new here. Brock Purdy has been balling. They kept Brandon Ayuk. They just resigned and, and, re and, and renegotiated Trent Williams' contract, so you're going to protect Brock Purdy. You got Debo Samuels, my brother. That brother's going to be ready. C-Mac, the man in the house, okay? You know what he brings to the table. George Kittle's no scrub. We'd be talking more about him if it wasn't for Travis Kelsey. They got a crew. They got Kyle Shanahan. They got a defense. And they've been knocking on the door. Four trips to the NFC Championship game in the last five years. Two Super Bowl appearances. Haven't kicked in the door. They're motivated. We know they're one of the elite teams. They're number two. They just ain't number one, that's all. We know who that's going to. Rid it right, right up there. It's the reigning, defending, two-time Super Bowl <laughs> champion, Kansas City Chiefs, who've won three over the last four years. They've got the greatest quarterback on the planet, okay, in Patrick Mahomes, the best tight end in football in Travis Kelsey. They go out there and they draft Xavier Worthy, okay? You still got Rice. You still got cats like Pacheco and Edwards Lee in the backfield. You got an offensive line. You got Andy Reid sitting up there as your head coach and your offensive coordinator, basically. You sit up there and you got Spagnola on the defensive side of the ball, whose defense might be even better this year than it was last year. Yep. The Kansas City Chiefs are clearly the number one team. Doesn't mean they can't get knocked off, but they are the number one team coming into this season. So I got the Chiefs, the 49ers, the Ravens, the Lions, and the Philadelphia Eagles. Green Bay's on the outside looking in because I'm not going by a half-season yep. sample size and a win over the Dallas okay. Cowboys in the playoffs to authenticate them being a top-five yep. team as of yet. Mm. Solid teams. The order's a little suspect. But uh, first take, fam, you at home, you can scan the QR code that has popped up on your screen, and you can grade Stevens A-list. We'll reveal your results at the end of the segment. But first, Shannon, you're up. Give us your reaction and your grade to Mr. Smith. Stephen A, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's a damn good list. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very good list. The only, the only, the only, the only place you and I differ 
is five. And I couldn't decide. I had Texans Green Bay at five. I got the Lions at four. I got the Ravens at three. I got the Niners at two. And I got the Chiefs at one. That is a damn good list. Okay, what's your grade, Thank Janet? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I get, I, hey, we only, we only differ at the bottom five. I gave him an A minus. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, Jess? It, it's, it, is a, it is a good list, Stephen A. It is a good, I mean, you know, well, welcome <laughs> to finally having a good one. You know what I mean? It's a rarity for you, but you, hey, hey, blind squirrel, right? You, I mean, every now and then, right? Like, that's, I know, I know. It shocked me to even see your list. I will say, I will say there's a little difference for me and you. All right. I put the Lions at two because they should have okay. won that game against really? the Niners, right? So I put the Lions at two. Yeah. I had the Niners at four. I had the Ravens at three. Chiefs at one. I'll, I'll give you one, though. A little sleeper team for me that I put at five was the Rams. I think the Rams, I think the Rams, I think their offense is going to be special. I think I think the way they have come about, I like to see where they are. I think they could be a surprise team out in the NFC. But I couldn't argue with the with the Eagles. I couldn't argue with the Texans, as Shea said. And I just I threw one in there for myself just as a kind of a, a sleeper flyer. Interesting. So that's right. Yeah, and but then, I like it. And then what about where Shannon and basically him saying uh, Houston or the Packers? I where could, would you have them? Yeah, after I, the I would have them. Exactly. I would have them after the Eagles. I would I would say the same. I'd say Green Bay would be after them and then the Texans. I think I think the 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 Eagles for me, they they're talent loaded. Yep. It's a matter of how they start this season for me. They got to start the season fast. Well, I love what they got. Uh, again, I think all the teams he has in his list are good. I think Green, a, we got a lot of good teams. Where are right your now. Cowboys? The one, I mean, you are in Dallas. The, the Cowboys the, fans want to know where you have the, oh. them. The, 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 the Cowboys don't deserve to be in the top five. Let's stop that nonsense. No, no, right no. I'm they, just they saying, where would you have five. them? Are they top ten, Stephen A? Seriously, are they top ten? I think I. I Seriously, so. right now, I think that's sus that's suspect. I don't, I don't, I don't know if they're top ten. Okay. Seriously, I don't know. I think, in all fairness, all seriousness, I don't mm. know that because I question their depth. And not only that, they're changing from a three-four to a four-three defensively. We're going to see what kind of adjustment that how that works out for them. They're going to unleash Micah Parsons a little bit more. Let's see how that works effectively for them. Who's going to be? I know Brandon Cooks is your number two receiver. Who's going to be those re the rest of those guys? Okay, I got to okay. wonder about that.